Today I'm going to show you a hack that is applicable to any JavaScript function that takes a timeout and allows you to set the amount of time prior to the timeout firing. So in JavaScript, we have this function called setTimeout. Now setTimeout is called with a couple parameters. The first parameter is a function to be called after a set amount of time. The second parameter is the amount of time required to call that function. So the amount of time is typically timed in milliseconds. In this case, we could say 2000 milliseconds, which is equal to two seconds, and we could log complete. So if we run this, you'll notice that not right now, not right now, but now the word complete, the string complete, is logged to the console. Okay, so what, what goes into this hack? How can we abuse this set timeout function? Well, if you're given the opportunity to choose when the timeout occurs, one thing you can do is simply pass through the value infinity, which is considered to be a number by the JavaScript programming language, or at least close enough that the set timeout function will accept infinity. So we would assume that what this means is that this console.log string complete will never occur ever because it will take infinite seconds before it occurs. But if we run it, we'll notice that it logs immediately. Well, why does this happen? It turns out this happens because the set timeout function interprets the value, which is the time before the set timeout function should run the function as the first parameter, it stores it as a 32 bit integer. And because infinity is larger than a 32-bit integer, this causes an integer overflow, which results in the timeout function being executed immediately as it flows over to zero.